Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, today we have new fish, so it is new fish unboxing time. Two boxes today. Uh, Nugget is interested. These are from Josh Cunningham, Cunningham Cichlids. Got a big box and a little box. We will start with the smaller box. Um, looks like we might be uh, having Nugget for the duration of the video. What do you think, buddy? Hey. It's not for you. Anyway, again, these are from Cunningham Cichlids. There's all the info if you need it. Got a sticker. Let's crack this thing open. This thing was certainly packed very well, so we're finally in there. Um, it's in a bigger bag, which for the health of the fish, due to the size of the fish, this is a big male fish. Um, you have to pack them in bags that big. The only downside, it's hard to float them when, uh, when the people get them, but that's the way it goes. You make it work. So this is probably the male. This is going to be a breeding group. He's a big fish. We'll see if we can get him to float in here. Can't see him too well in there yet, but let's see if we can fit this in a tiny opening. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Not that easy. Any ideas yet? Anybody? It's about seven inch. Looks like it's got a lot of color. Now to the huge box. I didn't want you guys to have to watch me uh, struggle with getting into this thing. Six more fish in here. First we'll give you another shot of the male here and give you another shot for uh, guessing correctly. A lot of you probably know what that is. So that's a male floating. And these are all triple bagged so I'm going to take a few out of these bags. And we're back. Uh, this might overwhelm my tank as far as a uh, quantity coming to the camera this is definitely going to be a problem They aren't going in this aquarium, I just wanted to float them in here so we can get some decent light and you guys can see them. So what this is, is two male and five female, Taneo Lethronop Preorbitalis, there's the male. You can see the females here. And don't worry, I'll uh, show the fish in tanks by the end of this video, so even though you can't see them now, we'll make sure you get a good shot of them. So make sure and watch till the end. For those of you not really familiar with these uh, Tanya Lethronop species, <clears throat> they're very, very much just like gigantic Lethronops. Um, rarely do any of them get like a full solid color. Uh, their color is always in the form of like an iridescent bluish green, some reds and oranges which I've always really liked. So if you like smaller lethronops, like the red caps, the embossy, uh, candy islands, anything like that, you're gonna love the Tania lethronops as well. Generally pretty calm. Uh, they need a sandy substrate. I used to breed the Tania lethronop for cicada in the past. Uh, there's a picture of my breeder in the mail and really, really enjoyed that group. I've never bred the Proorbitalis. Mm -hmm. 